3 and 0. Not wearing them apples.
<laughs> okay. Don't think we were winning, but managed the time a little bit better, probably. Yeah. Three and oh. Oh, let's uh, keep practicing that new one. Let's bring the knight out into the game and get the bishop. Takes her in through to the queen. Open the dark square bishop if we can. Shall we take the bishop on the queen? And let's make sure we've got space. Tuck the king, take the bishop off the board. Tuck the knight. Take with the knight or the queen. I think something's going to happen to the knight. So let's castle. What's always taking? Let's take it this side. Let's attack the rook. Let's take the rook off the board. Happy as Larry. Now they're feeling their own in the file. Can we do something to change their thinking? Mm. Let's bring the knights here. Attack the queen. Let's take. Rook's flying down here. Oh, they're not doing. So they're wanting to get their pawn passed. That's interesting. We'll go here and go for a back ranker if they take. Ah, they're not doing that. So we will hit the knight. And we're not getting the back ranker. But it's better than nothing. Let's just jam this pawn down. Let's get the knight activated. Let's attack the pawn. Wants to sink his knight in here. But they might change their mind and yeah, exactly. Let's take. Jump in to attack the pawn. But he's protecting the pawn with his knight. So then his king can come over and start attacking our knight. He may come down to try and attack our pawn. I don't think this is going to. We're not going to be fast enough with our king. Let's move the king. Move the king. And move the king. Keep going for the knight. This is what I thought they were going to do to our knight. They might still be fast enough anyway, so let's hang fire with the thought process. Yeah. I think they are. Okay, so we can take. And he's got some sort of situation brewing. It's on our king. Gonna have to move. Uh, let's move the king. He's just hitting me all over, taking the pawn. Um. Okay, let's go here. Just thinking if the greedy munching are they fast enough. Got two potential linked pawns. Can we not squeeze these up? Or is he just going to keep putting checks on my king? So he's going for it. Let's move the knight out of the way. Let's push, it's coming for the king. No, it's not. Let's push. It's looking to take it off there. Let's push. Let's try and get our king in the game. Got to check with the knight. But I'm saving that. And have they just moved the pawn? Let's push.
Let's take Let's hit the night. Let's push. King's dropping in there. Maybe not. Let's take. Let's go here. Could have pushed the pawn up, you know. <laughs> King, stupid me. Oh, dear me. Let's go here. Nice one. A bit messy, but in the end, still looks okay for the position that we achieved. So I'm fairly happy with that. Three and O. Oh. Shall we hit this pawn? Free gift, let's go. It's not a free gift, obviously. Let's take, let's go for carnage. Let's just support the pawn. Well, let's just give him things up for us. Let's put a check on the king. Let's take the bishop off the board. And let's castle. Going for cheap rubbish. Let's go with this attack in the night. Just going to go, it's not doing that, it wants to double the pawns, interesting situation. Boom, 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 let's move the queen. Rook. Take. Maybe attack the queen. Do is there a move order thing here? The bishop takes, queen takes, king takes, pawn takes. We end up doubling the pawns anyway. Oh well, whatever. Let's do it. The rooks need space to breathe. Yeah, I thought they'd do that. Let's go like that. We need space. You can have the pawn. Not interested. Let's go here. Let's get a check on the king. He's going to save the pawn. Oh, he's not saving the pawn. Let's just bring the rook here. Uh, they're trying to be a little bit clever. Huh? Let's just hit this rook. When it all looks simple, they're just doing an extra move. Oh, I think I'm... I feel like I'm a fan of that move, but maybe let's just take. Yeah, happy. Let's bring the king across. This should work for us. It looks good for them. They've got a poor, much massive poor majority on the king side. But I'm feeling fairly comfortable with the position. They'll be looking to trade off the rook. Oh, maybe not. So they haven't gone for trading the rook. Could have gone with this rook move here actually, but yeah, they've sensed that now. I'm going to bring the rook here. And just bring it here. See if we can mess up their poor majority. They'll probably think, ah, oh, well, I'm just going to come and take these. And they're not doing that. So we're going to hit this pawn. Hit this pawn. Pawn, hit the pawn, take, 
and take. Come round and save the pawns. Maybe not just yet. Let's just, shall we elevate or let's just keep it like this. They're down to 50 seconds. Do we trade? We've got a fire. We've got like passes all over the place. Let's go for hitting the rook. I think they'll just come here and attack the pawn actually. We can't defend it now. Ooh, that was close. Oh, but it's going to go over there anyway. We can't defend the pawn. We can push it up. We can push it up. Then they can hit us. And we have to hide here. And he's hitting everything. Let's just hit the rook. Pushes the pawn. What else can we... Oh, what is this? What is this, pray tell? Attack this pawn. Give them something to think about. Their time is running out. I think they'll just come running here. Oh, I think we've created a situation. Let's just bring the king back. 25 seconds they've got. I don't think they're going to do much damage with 25 seconds left. I think I'm fairly comfortable. Just move the king. Again, give them something to think about. It comes here. We can take and let's go and attack the pawn because nothing's going to protect it 10 seconds left there's not much damage that can be done shall we come this side just to give this pawn a bit of company and shall we put a check on the king or not let's just take the pawn let's move the king still protecting the pawn they've only got three seconds left and let's attack this pawn here put a check on the king and push the pawn up. Excellent. That's appropriate usage of time there. And yeah. Very nice. Let's have a look. I don't think we were winning. Again like in the previous game. No we, we weren't winning. But again it's the usage of that time factor. That's the element of playing these fast blitzy games. So pretty evenish there. But... Basically, we could almost do anything that we wanted because the time of the opponents was running out and there's no increments. So this is why you can get away with playing like that with zero increments. Three and O again. Bit of practice. Let's just hit this pawn. Let's take and take. And the massive importance on the time factor really is key in these um, fast, you know, these fast games. There may be elements of trying to find those perfect positions and sometimes you're allowed those. But really time management is key. One exercise I want to actually practice is how many moves does it actually take to actually gain advantages in a blitz game, a quick game. It's usually around about 21, 22, where you can just take your time and you don't have to actually do anything devastating. If you can withstand a period of 20 to 22 moves, then you should be okay. And then it's just down to a time of managing your time. We'll try and do that in this particular game here, or maybe the next one, because we've only just started doing it. Let's just take this here. So if we can weather the storm for 20 to 22 moves, we can then look at just the time management and hopefully, fingers crossed, we're ahead on time. That's a white square bishop. Yep, okay. So let's get some focus going and let's just attack the queen. Let's just take... Let's bring the rook here, supporting. It's one in the bishop. It's, it's actually hitting the knight as well. Cheeky. Let's just bring the knight up. Bishop's going to move. He's got a two on one on here. Oh, crisis point. Crisis point.
Let's attack the pawn. Attack in the rook. We attack the rook first. Good shot. Nice shot. Nice shot. Damn. Got a bit arty there, didn't we? Got a bit arty there. Still losing that palm. Got a bit arty there. What's that? Very good, very good. Okay, we'll practice it on the next one. It's not taken. Oh, they're getting very fancy. There's no need for arty business. There's no need for arty business. I've trapped my knight. Oh. Fifty-eight seconds, huh? We're ahead on time. I don't know what these this player's doing. It looks strange. They've got an advantage of this extra minor piece. It seems like they're dilly dallying. It's coming for my king. That way, rather. Oh, okay, it's. Uh... 24 seconds, looks like they're going to be down on time. Takes the night. Ooh, doesn't take the night. Draw. Damn. Okay, the three and oh. So let's see what we look like after 20 to 22 moves. That's if we get there. You know, sometimes the games are over dead quickly because it is a quick game. But if we put the focus in, get to 2022, then look at our time management and see if we can gain advantage using time. Let's just bring the bishop here, supporting the pawn, support the knight. Castle. See, we're only nine moves in. It's still a bit busy. So 20 to 22 is quite deep for a quick play game. These rapid type things. Let's hit the bishop. That's why if you do get to like 20 to 22, it's kind of, it's a deeper acceptance that Something must be happening in the game whereby either somebody's winning or somebody's holding their own. We could take the knight. Let's just attack this because behind the knight is the knight which has got no protection on. So we'll take and we're X-raying through to the rook. So it's move 14. And we're ahead on time at the moment. Just attack the rook again, just give them something to think about while we're thinking. What's ideal? 
It's going to bring the bishop here, x ray through to the rook. So I'm just making moves. I don't want to overthink the moves. We're ahead on time. We're at move 16. Could take, looking to exchange the queens off. And let's take with this rook. So he looks like he's getting pieces back. And shall we go here? He's looking for a fork with the knight. So he does go with the knight. Let's attack, and he's attacking the pawn as well. So he's greedy munching. But we're at 2 minutes 19. It's getting up to move 20 now. So at this point, let's just take time and look at the positioning on the board, see if we can improve anything. It's going to hit our bishop. So he'll be attacking the bishop and the rook. Yeah, so we can move the rook out of the way or we can move the rook. Ooh, we're now giving him pieces. That's not what we wanted to do. Ah, we're giving him pieces. 152, so move 22. Like I said, this is where the action really is. So let's win on time. Let's get the advantage on time. We've given him a piece back. We've given them the advantage. That's not what we planned at all. Let's attack the knight. He's got another pawn. Look how many pieces he's, he's clawing up here. He's got the bishop. We're still ahead on time. So it's in cases like these where I'm trying to say, even if you are losing pieces and stuff like that, just try and manage time as best possible and you might get an advantage in the game. So this is a good example. Ooh. Um, it's got loads of pawns facing us. So maybe if we get the king across maybe and start doing something, are we going to be fast enough at all? Ooh, probably not. Let's bring the rook back. He's got this elevated, hasn't he? So are we coming here, coming here? So let's go here to try and come here or something or get to this one. And hit here. Yeah. Let's go here. And push. But you can always double count it. Let's push. Yes, it's straight there. Let's attack this pawn. Drops. Giving them things to think about. They're on 20 something seconds now. They are actually winning because they're plus two. Again, that's the principle I'm talking about there in these quick games is we can take the pawn just to give them something to think about. And then we can come back here and attack the pawn again, giving them something to think about. They're having to readjust. Let's just bring the king across. They're only on 12 seconds now. It's going to hit our rook. Is that going to be causing us too much trouble? Rook comes across to put a check on the king just to give us something to think about. It's only got six seconds, five, four, three, two. Let's bring the king here. Brings the rook here to come down and wrap on the king just to give something to think about. And we take the pawn here. And that's it. That's how it's done. Okay, 3 and 0. Oh. Just practicing the management of time but really it's management of oh, excuse me management of your movements on the board which then impacts the time factor let's just bring the knight out um let's bring the bishop here get ready for castle in let's castle see if we can do it again in this particular game and let's shall we attack so you're still utilizing all the principles and concepts that you know, you know, to try and get a better position on the board. It's going to be taken. Let's bishop here. Let's push this pawn support in the pawn. Let's get the rook behind here. I don't know if we'll have time to double the rook here. Is there anything free? Basically, pawn championship. Nope, that's too much thinking. Two, three, three. Let's just stick with the basics. This is this is half open anyway, so I'm going to go with this way. And here. 
Let's take in, let's take, let's attack it. Oh, it's not, I thought it was going to take with the knight. Okay, so the rook's still on here. What's the bishop got? A little bit of a touch here, putting more pressure on. No, they're stopping that. So let's hit the pawn. And, oh, that's the bishop going to be hitting the bishop. Let's take, still got the pressure-ish, but not the bishop anymore. So we'd have to push, push up to get to here. And they're not letting us have any of that. Let's just go, because this pawn, this bishop is going to be toast if we don't move it and attack and get the king up maybe bait the pawn down where's the knight going he's got these pawns to attack as well let's push this time wise yeah okay so now this is the 25 mover so in essence we we are now just sitting back probably going to get a few pieces taken off the board but we're now looking to try and improve our position on the board if we can. But we know that we're going to end up losing a few pieces. Hopefully give the opponent something to think about. Maybe they can take a bit longer with their moves. The knight's holding court in this position too well, actually. So I'm going to move this pawn. And going to move this pawn. Going to move maybe not that one. Let's go here. They're still staying with us, but we're giving them something to think about. They're taking time now. I'm going to hit the pawn. Take. Going to hit the pawn. They're a bit quick, these guys, so we might not be able to swindle this one. Oh, the knight has gone in. If we take, he has to take. If we push past, but then he takes, he's on the bit. Ooh. Push. And if we move the bishop attacking the pawn and the knight. So they've got a passer to contend with, but I don't think it's going to stay on there too long. The knight's got some fancy maneuvers that it can do. Oh man, they've gone protecting again. What do we do? We're going to have to move the king out way. 18 seconds ahead let's take let's not overthink that shall we move the king or move it here i'm gonna move it here so i'm gonna take looks like the panicking which is good let's go here don't think they're protecting this probably taking the bishop off the board but we do have a passer so that must be something yeah that must be something because they're going to hopefully run out of moves. Going to want to take the back this pawn off. But the king is supporting here. Is it a Zugzwang still? Excellent. That's what I'm trying to explain. That time factor is a killer in these shorter games. You don't have to play the perfect game at all. Just give the opponent something to think about. Mess with the position. Make them think that basically... You know, you have something. Okay, last one for the series on this virtual time management type concept. Let's hit the night. So I think we understand what we're trying to say about the management of that time. Just keep moving. It's not just losing pieces for losing pieces sake, but it's also not over stressing about the position so long as you're feeling happy and comfortable with what you've got up to move 20 22 take a look at the situation you maybe hold your hands up and say well i'm not really going to get much out of this one and don't think we do that do we let's go here i'm i'm thinking there overthinking big style Yeah, I've, I've lost my thread now. Let's go here, which is I think is good because we can um, try and claw it back. So we're five seconds behind and we don't want our queen over there. We want the queen opposite their king. Looking to fly in here with the knight. Let's fly in here with the knight. His knight is there, so we're not going to rush too much. There's a funky little position here where we could get the rooks off the board. 
But I'm just thinking, is my queen getting hit? Not currently. Okay, so we give them something to think about. Which one is the best one to take? This one or this one? We take with this one because this one's hitting here. Right, next thing to do, just bring the queen here, attacking the bishop. It's got no protection. Swing the knight. Whoa, what's going on? What's going on? Okay, so he's taking, he's coming with his queen. Gonna take here, we're on the rook. Does he have a checkmate? I don't see it. So we're on the rook, rook is defended. Damn, we'll take the queen because it's got no defense on. Giving them something to think about. Excellent. 